One, two, three, four, and... Everybody, welcome back to Swift Lessons for another Lick of the Week. In today's session, I'm going to be breaking down a very cool funky blues lick that makes use of the Mixolydian Blues Hybrid Scale in the key of D. Now, once again, I have the Spark Amplifier from Positive Grid set up. This allows me to choose between thousands and thousands of virtual rigs to get the perfect tone. So, for my rhythm track today, I was using their Modern Vintage Clean. But I can easily switch over to the rig I'm using for my lead line. Just by going over to blues, I can find a custom setting. There it is, basic blues tone. All right, now I'm ready to break down today's lick of the week, which sounds like this. Let's get started. Okay, a close look at the prep board, getting started with section one of this lesson. Before we jump into learning the lick, it's always very, very important that you understand the scales that the lick is being drawn from. Okay, so you should definitely know how to play the minor blues scale in the key of D. And you should also know how to play the Mixolydian scale in the key of D. put them together and we have this very, very cool set of notes that we call the Mixolydian Blues Hybrid Scale. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so that was 10, 12, 13. Under the A string we're having 9, 10, 11, 12. D string, 9, 10, 12. Then the G string, a bunch of chromatic notes, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then the B string, 10, 12, 13. And the high E string, 10, 12, 13. Okay, so if you've been playing the minor pentatonic scale or the minor blues scale for a long time and you're starting to get a little bit bored of that, try mixing in those notes into your licks just one note at a time. That'll give you a much more professional sound. So many possibilities right there with that Mixolydian blues hybrid scale. Okay, very good everybody. Now that you have a sense of where this lick is coming from, we can start breaking it down. It's being played over top of a funky little rhythm. Okay, so that's down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Also using some staccato techniques and also muted strums to give it a more funky feel. but I'll save that for a rhythm lesson. The lick one more time is gonna sound like this. And real slow. Now for ease of learning, we're gonna break it up into two different parts. Part number one. Part number two. Breaking down part number one, we're starting off sliding up to the major third of this key, which is going to be F sharp. We're sliding up into that note with a little bit of a rake technique. Okay, so I'm keeping the high E string activated, dead fishing the strings I'm not using with my ring finger, middle finger, maybe my index finger. As I slide up, I'm gonna drag my pick against those muted strings. All right, very cool technique, very Stevie Ray Vaughan. All right, then 10th fret high E string, 10th fret B string. So far you have. Keeping my pick alternating. All right, then to the G string, we're going to the 12th fret. Then to the 10th fret as you hammer up a half step. 
That's the minor third going to the major third. You add it into the mix and we have. Now on to part two of this lick. That was the 12th fret of the D string. Then 10th fret sliding down to the ninth fret. Okay, one of those mixolydian notes. All right, then we're going to the 12th fret of the A string. And then eighth fret of the same string going up to the ninth fret. Again, minor third to major third. Before resolving to the 12th fret of the D string. So all of part two. All right, you put parts one and two together. It should sound like this. faster and at full speed all right one more time real slow make sure the pick is alternating unless you're doing a hammer-on or a slide in which case you can do a double down all right, everybody, thanks so much for checking out this Lick of the Week. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Once again, if you're looking for the ideal practice amp, then I definitely recommend for you the Spark by Positive Grid. I'll put a link in the description, and I'll see if I can find you a discount code. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash lessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys. I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.